Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, join me. I'm out at a place not close, not far from Cork, uh, called Kilcray Friary. And those of you that are subscribers to the channel for a while would have known that I've come here before. But I've come back here today for two things. Number one, we've had some pretty bad weather over the last number of days, and it's only starting to show signs of letting up now. So what normally comes after bad weather is nice light. And I'm hoping for that actually for today. The forecast is that it's going to clear, uh, hopefully enough to light up the second thing, which is right behind me here, as you can see, is Kilcray Friary. And you've got an avenue of trees that line towards that. And I was hoping there'd be a bit more color. It's a bit early yet for autumn. There's signs of it around the place, but it's not at peak of autumn just yet. But I'm hoping that with the light coming on that, I might get some nice uh, lit up scenes on those trees. And then with the dark, ominous clouds that are heading that way, actually, they might cause a nice image. So that's what we're going to do for today. I'm going to get set up anyway here now and I'll talk you through my first composition when I get it. Now, I didn't have much light, but it seems that there was some light actually coming through uh, above the set of clouds that are uh, above me, because just after the structure there in Kilcray Friary, I had a very, very small, quick glimpse of a bit of a rainbow. And I think I managed to be able to capture that shot. I took a number of different exposures just to make sure that I got it right. If I didn't blow it out, or it was too dark or whatever it might be. And hopefully I'm able to get one of those shots anyway that will work. And now because the clouds are coming this way, I've decided to put on my um, big stopper. I'm just checking it here now. I can actually go further. So I put on my big stopper to give me a longer exposure. That was one minute and 14 seconds. Um, so what I'm going to do there is probably go to around maybe one and a half minutes and I'll see then what type of shot I can get because the light is moving or the clouds are moving this way here and there is bits of rain as well uh, in between. So I think it'll be nice from a kind of an atmospheric point of view. Not much color on the trees, which is what I was hoping for, um, but I'm hopeful that if a gap comes in the clouds and the sun hits those, they will really spring to life. I am probably around about maybe an hour away from sunset, so hopefully I'll get rewarded and I'll get a nice bit of light that will light up those trees. But in the meantime, anyway, I'm gonna let this one cook uh, and see what that type of shot anyway will turn out. I'll show you the rainbow shot and then I'll also show you the long exposure shot as well that I managed to get here. So yeah, not a bad old start so far, but let's see how we go from now. Something I always have in my bag with me is a shower cap and it's perfect for placing over the camera in case you have some light showers which I have right now. Now I'm hopeful as well that once this rain will clear I'll get a nice bit of light like I would have said but definitely something I'd recommend to always have in your camera bag because you'll never know when you're going to need it and instead of actually tearing everything down you just place this over the camera and it also covers the front of the lens and you get uh, you keep your lens nice and clear and clean.
I've had a lot of rain actually there for the last 20 or 25 minutes. So I had my camera covered as you were seeing earlier on and then I had a break in it and I decided to go for a time lapse. And the movement of the clouds actually was quite nice going over the structure here behind me. Now, uh, in the west, I'm looking at a very stormy uh, set of clouds and I'm hoping that there's going to be a gap because you can see it's lighting up here just behind right now so we're around about 15 minutes away from sunset so the best of the light actually should be right now if i do get that gap i'm still going to be fingers crossed hoping that i get some nice light because that's all that this really needs is some nice light to light up those trees that are there probably won't happen but even if it doesn't happen i hope i'll still get some nice colors in the sky as well all dependent on what i'm looking at on the western horizon i can see a bit of light that's coming through it right now so again like i say fingers crossed that i get it towards the end Well, looks like it's going to be a dead duck for a sunset. I had a number of gaps in the cloud, but unfortunately they weren't anywhere near the sun. So they were high above me. So it must be a number of different layers that are there. And there's obviously a deep bank of cloud on the west. Nonetheless, I haven't moved my camera whatsoever. So I've had my one single composition for this entire shoot. And I've got a number of different types of clouds and textures as well in the clouds and formations of the clouds as they would have gone over the structure behind me. All I needed was light and the whole thing would have popped. But unfortunately, I didn't get light, but it was still good to be able to get out with the camera as always. And I think I managed to get a couple of nice shots as well. So I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much as always for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, schlange voll.